Are they ready? The chips? Just in time. Give us a chip. Put in the chips, mate. We're off to the UK, some other. The thing is, they'll be piping hot, so we can at least get a few minutes in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Alright, so this is Jesper and Rob from Hearts coming at you from my... Jesper's apartment. Yeah, my living room. I'm going to be sleeping on this sofa tonight. Maybe craving to play music. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, with people. Well, the background of it yeah. is more or less that We've, we've been in bands for however long we've been, like 10 years. Mm. Uh, quit our bands, yep. uh, and then didn't do music for a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, or yep. did music, but like... Yeah, between, I guess, like uh, that transition and it was COVID. Yeah. There was, yeah, a pause in playing. Um, so I guess really it was like excitement of we found us two yeah. and, and friends to play together and it was like that sort of excitement of being in the room again with people that yeah. you enjoy playing music with so and you I, I feel like we all uh, reconnected with this kind of teenage feeling of being in a loud oh, room I just feel like, like a teenager right now yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and it, it was yeah. Yeah, just getting into that headspace of being in that rehearsal space, playing loud <clears> music <throat> together with friends, and mm -hmm. just like knowing, like we knew that we were making songs that were going to end up being played live. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I think we all missed that. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was the excitement just to get in a room with the excitement of the end goal of like, all we want to do is get back playing live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, so I guess it was fueled. What was the question? Inspiration or the meaning? The meaning of the meaning it was, was maybe the beautiful statement of music brings people together. together. Yeah. For me, it's it was one of the easiest recordings I've I think I've done in a long time. Um, we recorded with a guy called Frederick um, in his studio, Audio Fabrican, uh, which translates to the Audio Factory, which just outside or in Gothenburg, like yeah. he added like a lot yeah. of great elements to this recording. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's well, he's got many talents, but just the, the speed and efficiency and like in the moment creativity. It was it was recorded. Yeah, live and quick. Yeah, and, 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 and more or less all the tracks were live yeah, takes. Yeah, I was surprised and impressed by the speed of, like, the progress of it. Mm. But I still feel, looking back at it, that we had time to enjoy ourselves. And, and I, I guess I think we could pull it off just because of all of our backgrounds, where like we've been in these situations before. Yeah. It's not like we're overwhelmed stepping into a studio. No. Or, but at the same time, like it was the first time <clears throat> stepping into the studio in this constellation, whereas yeah, yeah. it could yeah. be potentially yeah. a high stakes situation where I guess we yeah we, we realised this after it's happened. Oh, that was actually quite high stakes, but yeah. never beforehand. No, and not <laughs> definitely not during yeah. doing it because yeah. it, it felt more natural than anything. Yeah. It was. Blissful. Blissful. <laughs> Colourful, creative, spontaneous, energetic, in the moment, good times. Uh, we're doing the last takes for Make Somebody Run. Uh, and you had I hadn't, I hadn't eaten. You, you decided not to eat until you finished it. Sure. And then you got cramps. Yeah, my hand. I've never had it before, I, I guess. <laughs> it, it, my thumb would keep like closing in this way. And uh, I couldn't control it. So, and it was so strange for the rest of us because we were like, we were in different separate rooms, uh, and we would hear in our monitors that 
Rob was saying. Oh, my hands cramping. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't play. Uh, this feels so weird. And we're like, do you want to take a break? Now let's do one more take. <laughs> that Na was the take we used. Nailed it. Nailed it. Adrenaline. Yeah. So I, I think the writing process for this EP was, m yeah, much in the, it follows the theme of the recordings and all. It was very smooth. Um, most of the songs for this EP, I had like the first seed of the songs kind of figured out. I met you on the street in Gothenburg. Yeah. Where I was like, no, you need to play. Yeah. I want to play. Yeah. And I guess for that to happen, you know, two of us being in a room, it wasn't like there was going to be... Yeah, it was important, I guess, like you brought some ideas. So, yeah, the majority of the songs were... Well, yeah, that, I guess. Make Somebody Run was written <clears throat> like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. around that time, like... So it was like the climax of a... 10 hour you know, writing session. I remember that being quite I mean, intense. I don't know. It's, but it's also a good, good feeling where you, you just start clicking around the room, knowing that it's working. Yeah. And the weird thing about that is like listening back to obviously the demo recordings of mm. from that night. Like I was surprised listening back to it, like where I could tell by the way we're. Not the way we were playing it, because we, we were playing it perfectly. It was m more me listening back to my vocals. Right. And I could tell, like, okay, I've, I've sung for eight hours. My voice is completely yeah. gone. Yeah. Like, what is this? Like, I think for an outsider to come in and listen to that, they would be like, what are you doing? This is not a song. To but, all of us, like, yeah. Yeah, but for me listening back to it, I just, I heard the song was there, and I was like, Mm. Oh, I'm convinced that this is going to be a banger. It was quite like a euphoric feeling of just, it felt like we were all in that uh, beginning feeling. For me, what sort of a piece of like creating with people. We formed these three songs and now I guess we felt good or energised. And yeah. I guess that was like a genuine energy of like, okay, something else is starting randomly and, and following that. And just, I guess, letting that happen, like we have everything's mic'd up and just in a in a demo fashion, so it's all recorded, and it feels like a luxury to be able to listen back to these raw yeah. ideas and gems, really, yeah. with, that could yeah. like yeah, and people easily, might easily go uh, yeah, you'd lost probably forgotten about it the yeah. next morning. The people we worked with during this EP was obviously Frederick, who we mentioned before, um, from Audio Fabrikian. <clears throat> Sounds weird saying it with an accent. Audio Fabrikian in Swedish. Um, and also, we got help from his brother Robert. Rubba. Uh, so he was, yeah, engineering or assisting. Yeah, definitely helping out with yeah. the workflow and making everything. That's the word, workflow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. it's not to say like, oh, oh, yeah, or speed is a good thing or whatever, but it was just such a good working dynamic where, um, yeah, they're super efficient, so no moments lost or no flows broken. Yeah, just super quick and adaptable. Yeah, and very creative people, both of them. Yeah, so totally. it, it feels like you know you can trust them whenever you're struggling like with parts or whatever. Because there was hardly any other outside ears on the stuff, you know, um, literally came from a small room in a barn yeah. where we jammed the songs straight there. So it felt good to have trusted ears, I guess. Yeah. We sent it to the UK, uh, yep. to Pete. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It's not happening. He, he's a great, yeah, he's awesome. He works at uh, Chapel Studios in Lincolnshire in the UK. Fantastic studio, mm. supposedly. I've not been there, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I guess I've had experience there, and that's how the, the connection with him. But yeah, he he was more like working as an in-house uh, engineer, or whatever there. But then got a sneaky suspicion of his mixing skills, so yeah, he just uh, he took smashed it. it. Yeah, he took it to another level, for, yeah. and it, I feel like yeah. the combination of like doing these very organic, uh, mm. real recordings yeah. and then sending it to Pete who like yeah smashed it, Pushes it to yeah, it, yeah it's like hi-fi but still raw it's yeah yeah it's perfect yeah did, at the beginning did we say we're hot yeah but we can say it again just yeah. so we lead people on a good tone thanks for this <laughs> we've been hot from Gothenburg Sweden um, I have to go to work tomorrow, so I think now I've got a catch up flight. Very yeah. early. I think this is it for now. We did well. Yeah. Thanks for this. See you. Please listen. Goodbye.